ספר, אדם הראשון, he he ate from the etz adat, because of him, till today, we 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 have to rectify the sin. Is it fair that it was Adam Rishon who lived with me? You hear the question? No. You hear the question? It's a very simple answer. And the answer is that the Sifre Kabbalah explained there were six hundred thousand. You know, in general, the 600,000 neshamot that were created and this gilgulim and things, they were all 600,000. They were in Adam HaRishon at the time of the Etzadat. Now, by the way, the Gemara says, what was the Etzadat? What did Adam HaRishon eat from? Was it, what was it? People think it was the apple. You know, that's why nowadays, if you look, what's the, what's the phone? The apple. But there's a bite in the apple. We need to say, there's a sin in the apple. That's what the, the Goyim feel, that that's what it is. However, if you look at the Gemara, in Mesech Berachot, right? It doesn't say that. In the sixth Perek, it speaks, it says, there's three opinions, what was the Etzadat? One opinion says, it was a grape, grapevine, right? One opinion says, it was a fig. And one opinion says, it was a, well, wheat, wheat. Wheat, a kernel of wheat. Now the Gemara says, what connection? Why would I think it's a grape? One answer is, because wine gets you gassed. Wine, if a person has too much uh, drinking, what happens to him? He gets, uh, what, what does he get to him? Huh? By the way, if you didn't say Kirachma, make sure you say it right now. Please, right now make sure you say it, because uh, this man's coming. So he says, what was it? One, one opinion says, it was grape. Why grape? Because a person gets drunk with the grapes. And what happens if he gets drunk with the grapes? Okay. He does stupid things sometimes. Hey, it's a, one million says that it was the fig. Why was it the fig? Because the fig, what was, they were naked before they ate it, right? After they ate it, what happens? What do they have to bring? What do they have to do? Clothing. clothing. Which clothing did they wear? Figs. The, they wore figs? No. I mean, leaves the are... leaf of the fig. So the Gemara says that the opinion says the fig, you know why? Because it needs to be a tikkun from what? From the avera that they did. Every avera that a person did, he has to make tikkun of that avera of exactly what he did. Mm-hmm. Let's say, for example, a person, he, he convinced people to go uh, to nightclubs when he was younger, promoting, come, 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 I have a crazy party, crazy. So you have to do tshuva, but you have to do tikkun in the same way. What's tikkun in the same way? Mm-hmm. Now you got to promote for, for, for shiurim. There's a Wednesday night shiur by uh, Rabbi Palachi, Derech Emet, 2013, he's 13, she oh, he's the parking lot, there's that. Promote, promote, and anything. There's an app, tour anytime, you got to check it out, you got to uh, download it, you got you to gotta see shiurim from the rabbis over there. You, you, you're doing tikkun from what you did. And the third opinion says, it was uh, wheat kernel. Why? Because when I says, when is a kid, a child, no to say, Abba Ima. When is a person's allowed, his kid's allowed to have uh, uh, kernels. Up until now, he's, well, he's nursing from his mother. But the second he has a kernel, that means he has enough knowledge to say Abba'ima, mother, father. And that's it's a da'at, the, the tree of knowledge. You understand? So that's why there's a three, those three opinions. Grapes, either grapes, figs, or, like we said, uh, a wheat kernel. Mm-hmm. Ah, now that we know that, he says, every day the Zohar brings down, Adam Marishon, Goes out of the Marat Machpelah, tells Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov that w- that's in the inner chambers of Marat Machpelah. They're all buried in the Marat and says another reason why another person said to eat from the Etzadat. At the time, Adam and Shon is standing there. Should he eat from the Etzadat or should he not eat from the Etzadat? And each person of the 600,000 600, Neshamot that was in Adam and Shon all said another reason why they should eat from the Etzadat. And Adam and Shon comes to comes to Abraham and Yaakov every day. So, oh, by the way, there was another reason why they said I should eat from Ezadat. So, in essence, who has to make tikkun of that sin? All, every, all of us. Because we were all in Adam and Yishon at that time when he was eating Ezadat. And that's why if a person, what's the great lesson we learn from here? What's the great lesson we learn from there? The world, in a sense, a person has to, has to understand that he has to rectify his, himself. It's not only the Ezadat. It's rectify himself. Now the Arizal brings down, how do we know what we have to fix? We came to this world, we have to make tikkun. 
Of course, we have to keep every single one of the Torah mitzvot. We have to keep everything. But one of the things is, the Arizah says, whatever is difficult for you, that's the item that you have to work the hardest to fix. A guy sometimes he tells me, oh, Rabbi, I can't do it, I can't wake up in the morning. That's exactly what you have to fix. A guy, uh, it's hard for me to learn. It's exactly. You know, each item that's hard for you, that is the item that you have to work on the most. And this is a great lesson we have to take.